Filters are devices that can selectively alter a signal in its frequency domain. They can affect some frequencies while leaving others untouched. These can be fixed frequency or variable frequency. And depending on the filter type, it can provide control over frequency, gain, bandwidth, slope, etc. Cut filters, also known as pass filters, attenuate frequencies below or above a cutoff frequency. Progressive attenuation depends on the slope or roll-off of that filter. The slope can be identified by the number of dB per octave or the order of the filter. Each order is equivalent to 6 dB per octave. The parameters that define a cut filters are cutoff frequency, slope, and type. The cutoff frequency is what specifies where the signal starts to roll off. The slope, or roll-off, determines the progressive attenuation of the signal below or above the cutoff frequency, and it specifies in dB per octave or order. Each order represents a 6 dB per octave change in the slope. So a 6 dB per octave filter is equivalent to a first order filter. A second order filter is equivalent to 12 dB per octave. A third order is equivalent to 18 dB per octave, and so on. Filters can have slopes up to 48 dB per octave or even more. The type defines the behavior of the filter at the cutoff frequency, frequency response, delay, etc. The most common filter types are Linkwitz Riley and Butterworth. Note how they differ at the cutoff frequency. Cut filters can come in two main types low cut or high pass, and high cut or low pass. We can create other types of filters by combining two of these filters, like a band pass, band stop, or a notch. A low cut or high pass filter, as the name implies, will cut frequencies below a certain cutoff frequency. These filters are common on mixing board input channels and some constant voltage amplifiers. The main use is to filter out unwanted low frequency noise or to protect loudspeakers. High cut filters, on the other hand, will cut frequencies above a certain cut frequency. These filters can help reduce high frequency noise and hiss. If we combine a low cut filter and a high cut filter in such a way that they overlap, we get a bandpass filter. These filters may be fixed or provide control of the cut frequencies and the slope. These are useful to limit signal bandwidth. Another combination, although less common, is the band stop filter. In this filter, a low cut and a high cut are combined in such a way that they don't overlap. This can provide control of the cut frequency and the slope. Although not very narrow, it's possible to create a notch filter this way by setting the cutoff frequencies very close to each other. These filters are useful in rejecting problematic bands.